Something ends and something new starts every time there is an eclipse. Get ready, on April 8, at 3, 16 p.m. Eastern Time, there will be a total solar eclipse in Aries. The moon will finally come out of its shadow at 3, 29 p.m. Eastern Time. This cosmic event promises to have significant meaning across the zodiac. Those born under the cardinal signs of Aries, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn A experience its influence most intensely. These cardinal signs embody energies of initiation and change, aligning with the transformative potential of this eclipse. If you have your Sun, Moon, or other major planets placed between 14 and 24 degrees within these signs, you might feel the shift even more acutely. The solar eclipse will throw our horoscopes for a loop. These are some of the most shocking ways that the universe tries to get our attention on things that need to change in our lives. They pull us out of our comfort zones and make us move. They shake us out of our comfort zones so that we can gain more maturity and move up to a higher level. They work very quickly. Eclipses make us change, and we do. The sign of Aries is where this eclipse takes place. That means issues of freedom, bravery, and being yourself will be at the top of the list. Now that the universe has pushed you out of your comfort zone, it's time to find yours. Don't be afraid to be different, bold originality is now the way to go. During this yearly event, the sun's rays are especially energizing. But this year's solar eclipse, a kind of super caffeinated new moon, is different because it's a total eclipse. Along the path of totality, which is a narrow line from Texas to Maine, the moon will completely block the sun in the sky. What does the solar eclipse this spring mean for you? It's a dramatic event in the sky. This could be a time for new beginnings, like the spring equinox. From a symbolic point of view, the sun stands for our mind, or ego. I in I am. Conversely, the moon symbolizes our mind, the repository of our knowledge, wisdom, intuition, and even our psychic abilities. During an eclipse, when the moon blocks the sun, it brings to the surface insights, memories, and parts of our minds that we have been hiding. This eclipse gives you a one-of-a-kind chance to see what's really going on in your mind. This is your chance to become aware of unconscious patterns, find hidden beliefs, and face your inner shadows. This process can change you by letting go of things that no longer serve you and healing old wounds. Your research could also lead you to a link to the huge storehouse of the collective unconscious. You can learn a lot about universal patterns, your place in the universe, and the untapped potential that lives inside all of us by tapping into this shared wisdom. This process looks like it will be very spiritual and could change your life. That one thing could completely change how you see yourself, breaking down barriers and opening the door to more understanding. Remember to be kind to yourself as you look into this. Transformation takes time, so be kind to yourself and open to the amazing possibilities that lie ahead as you go through the process. Let's look at what this means for each sign. Aries. This solar eclipse takes place in your first house of looks, being assertive, business, personality, and personal growth. It's likely that you're aware of how you look and want to improve it through better health habits, fitness, nutrition, and advice from medical or grooming professionals. An eclipse here can sometimes bring you a lot of money, which you can use to buy new clothes or go to school to make yourself more marketable at work. Take pictures of the before and after to show this phase. Taurus. This solar eclipse happens in your solar 12th house, which is about helping others, getting better from illnesses and injuries, getting back on track, going on vacation, studying metaphysics, and keeping secrets. If holding on to too much starts to hurt your health or make it hard for you to focus, it might be time to clear your mind and come up with a plan that will help you sleep well. Don't agree to anything that goes against what you believe in life. Change the way you talk to yourself and get the courage to talk about problems with anyone who might be involved. They might be your boss. Think about the perfect job for you, and then go find it. 
Gemini. This solar eclipse takes place in your 11th house, which is about friends, plans, professional groups, and people you work with. In the last year, this is the second solar eclipse to happen in this house. Without a doubt, you got more than one member of a big business or charity organization that was looking for creative leadership from someone like you to join. Now, your focus is on recruiting new members, securing funds to stimulate interest in key initiatives, and strategizing for the future to enhance the stability of the lives of those deserving of it. You'll spend more time with close friends in 2024. Cancer. This solar eclipse takes place in your 10th house of work, goals, power, praise for good work, and the status quo. An eclipse in this house often means that something new is about to start at work. How you feel about the way you make a living could either help you or hurt you, depending on how the economy is affecting your job and how well you keep your promises. You might be getting used to a new style because you have a new CEO. You should use this time to think about your personal goals, your career path, and how well it fits with any new direction. You should also think about how the changes in leadership might affect your level of commitment. On the other hand, you might choose to look for another job. Leo. This solar eclipse happens in your solar ninth house, which is about higher education, your in-laws, both near and far, long-distance travel, religion, philosophy, publishing, moving, and languages, cultures, and countries other than your own. This year, Leos might be interested in temporary housing near business centers and satellite offices. They might want to set up the organization, help with hiring, or do program reviews. Some of you may have to move for a long time or permanently. Make sure you have good proof of your credentials in case you get an offer out of the blue. Some Leos plan their ideal vacation and take their family with them to have an exciting time. Virgo This solar eclipse takes place in your 8th house, which is about partnerships, investments, wills, sex, birth, death, taxes, and mortgages. As the economy changes, you should look over your entire budget to see which accounts could use some proportional changes, how you can be sure you are saving enough for taxes and insurance, and how you can save more for retirement. If you need help, you might want to talk to qualified professionals about consolidating your debt. Libra Your seventh house, which includes business and personal partners, spouses, roommates, co-workers, medical and legal professionals, counselors, therapists, and public critics, is the location of this solar eclipse. You've learned more about the people you love, respect, and work with over the past year, and they will help you be happy in the future. If you've identified issues that require resolution, discuss your desired changes with these significant individuals and solicit their input. Allow things to change, and pay attention to what your partner says. Scorpio This solar eclipse happens in your solar sixth house, which is about work, your daily routine, your health and nutrition, your ability to organize, your relationships with co-workers, and your pets. Should you return to work following a layoff or a change in your duties, it may be necessary to implement significant changes in the company's operations. Before you start making changes, do your work. Get your co-workers to help you and ask them for good ideas. They will respect you more if you smile. Sagittarius this solar eclipse takes place in your fifth house, which is about kids and their interests, fun, romance, meeting new people, sports, speculation, and vacations. You might meet new people in your love life out of the blue. Many people will want to hang out with you, and it might be hard to keep up with all of them. Because kids are busy with school and sports, their needs may become more complex. Capricorn this solar eclipse happens in your solar fourth house, which is about your home, your family, the people who live there, and the way your home looks. An eclipse in this house often means a fresh start in some part of your personal life. The way you treat other people and the quality of your relationships affect how well you do your housework, 
eat meals together, and spend time together as a family, enjoying fun activities, vacations, and important events. You can expect to learn about new paths that some family members may be taking. Look over your personal goals and see how well they fit with the path you want to take in 2024. Aquarius. This solar eclipse takes place in your third house of communication, community involvement, contracts and leases, education, mental sharpness, short-term trips, siblings, neighbors, technology, and getting around. When buying work or a car, compare prices, ask for bids, and read all the paperwork carefully before signing it. If you want to get a new job, make sure your resume is up to date. Pisces. This solar eclipse takes place in your solar second house, which is about your assets, salary, money you make or spend, funds for self-improvement, and how you like to spend extra cash. If your salary has gone down or you've lost your job, you may be working with a headhunter to find a new job that fits your needs. Make sure your resume is in great shape, do your research on job openings that match your qualifications, and look into other job opportunities that might make you happier at work. To get more credentials in your field, take a course that leads to a certification. Don't be afraid of the changes the eclipse might bring, trust that it is leading you to the best version of yourself. Open your heart to the whispers of your intuition and accept the unknown. Then let this cosmic force change you. Now is your chance to let go of what doesn't serve you and move into a life that is more in alignment with your purpose and filled with radiant light. The universe is calling, and the way goes up and up. Your DNA awakens, with love and appreciation.